in uh, Penwald for unison symmetry standing, I'm standing against the wall for four hours with my legs stationary, and I'm using what I call uh, spontaneous navigation of space in which I'm moving dynamically uh, within the span of my arms. At that point, I'm really interested in the density and the buildup of density and how that brings uh, an enormous amount of depth to the piece. And I think that's highly representative of uh, the depth of uh, attention that I'm, um, that's required of me and um, you know, perhaps even in the audience or a viewer. And um, it becomes a sort of a print uh, of that action in that, that moment. When I'm drawing, I commit my attention rationally to the sensitivity of my body at the receptive level, ready points and lines in space. I use friction to balance the tension of my body hemispherically. I attain a sense of embodiment that is geometric and mechanical, with no dominating sense of axes or outside force and I find the ability to motor from invented traction. I've always had a personal affinity for Yvonne Rayner's hand movie. Over time, this image became archetyped to me, a symbol of an artist's hand, of my own hand. I wanted to create a living tessellation from this iconic piece, an action that self-perpetuates and could regenerate across a single plane in space infinitely. Along with performer Melinda Jean Myers, I learned Rayner's piece through imitation from our right hands to our left hands, um, and also both forward and in retrograde. It was filmed in one single shot, revolving 360 degrees around the performance, and it's composed by John McGrew. The dimensions are double the original, which was 8 millimeter, uh, then transferred to video, and then I framed that in 16-9 aspect ratio to reflect on media, uh, an image, and the passage of time. I'm drumming over my head until my arms fully succumb to gravity. This takes approximately three hours. For me, it's really about finding what the nature of an idea is, um, you know, first determining what the variables at play are, and then finding how the nature of it maybe completes some sort of uh, logic. I do 
eight circles, eight laps. You know, it takes me about two and a half to three hours. When I just consider my pen wall drawings, it's um, a series that I, I want to spend a lifetime with, really. And so I see it as open-ended. I know a lot of different directions that those drawings can develop in. And for me, most of those early drawings in that series are uh, the basic unit. I know that there's a lot more iterations in the future for these works, and that may or may not come to fruition. But you know, I, I'm in no rush to uncover that. I don't spend time in my studio rehearsing these ideas or making multiple drafts of them. I've really, I, I deal with them in a way that are conceptual forms or structures that I then just apply my, my body and myself to in, in live moments and intersections with audiences. keeper of the master copy or I carry the score. Each drawing will be will be finished after eight impressions. I started training as a dancer at the age of 18. And I put so much demand on my body during that time. And although I had some natural ability and could demonstrate much on the superficial level. Um, misalignments eventually caught up to me and I had developed severe issues with my neck and my jaw. That's where most of this work really stems from. My interest in balance or dynamic balance, uh, efficiency and subtleties of the mind and the body. I guess this piece uh, was about antagonizing the antagonist, in a way. I begin with an 8 foot by 8 foot piece of paper. It's uh, one of the standard dimensions that I use based on previous work and uh, measurements of my body. The idea is to prepare the surface for something. The way that an artist prepares their mediums or a performer warms or readies their body. I'm making impressions with my teeth into the paper, uh, dental occlusions, uh, side to side, and I just repeat this action uh, until the task literally takes me to my back seems like I could just chew forever, but the paper weighs down on my neck and down through my spine and I start to kneel and then sit and eventually uh, I'm lying on my back and find a graceful exit from the work. I've performed this piece twice to date and both times it's taken me just around eight and a half hours. I don't necessarily believe that the essence is contained in that object. I, I think that it's there is an essence and it is passed, but I think it's passed through the living. I think it's passed from the performative moment, the knowledge of the performative moment, um, the knowledge of the action. And I think the life is in the action. I think that that's still the skeleton or it's still the image of what was once true, you know, that actual moment that the artist engaged. <laughs> 